Hello and welcome to another edition of Light at Speed with remote controlled lighting and precision lighting. This video is also one part of a series of videos in which I talk about different lighting control methods and I'm going to try and clear up any misunderstandings between them. In this video we will be discussing DALI lighting control. DALI is a digital lighting control protocol where luminaires are controlled and data is sent using digital messages along two wires. DALI stands for Digital Addressable Lighting Interface and is actually a digital language by which DALI enabled luminaires and controllers communicate. Notice I haven't said dimming yet, and that's because DALI can do much more than just dim lamps. Of course, DALI does have the ability to dim individual or groups of luminaires. DALI can broadcast a command to many luminaires at once though. You can also set up and recall 16 scenes which are stored inside the luminaire's memory. DALI can control RGBW lamps and even colour tuning lamps as of January 2020. There are many types of DALI devices that can trigger scenes or states in luminaires which aren't just button plates. These can be PIR sensor detectors which could turn on a group of lights if movement is detected, or light level sensors which can measure the light level in a space and adjust the dimming level of a group of lights to maintain a constant level. Really handy when you want to mix daylight and artificial illumination together. For large-scale emergency lighting systems in an office, for example, DALI can be incredibly useful. Instead of a maintenance team walking all of the floors, checking each of the emergency status LEDs, they can use their integrated building management system, which is connected to the DALI, to check the statuses at once quickly. DALI is bidirectional, which means that information can be sent to and from different devices on a network, enabling the programming of controllers or luminaires and the querying of statuses remotely. DALI control cabling is called a bus, and a bus is a pair of conductors which the devices are connected to. The DALI bus operates at 16 volts, which is technically low voltage, but as the luminaires it's connected to are usually mains powered, the cabling should be mains rated too. However, unlike 0 to 10 or 1 to 10, the cabling can be run right next to the mains electricity cables, which makes wiring really simple. DALI's data cabling is also not polarity sensitive, which means a DALI positive on one device can be connected to a negative of another. But I think the best thing about DALI cabling is that one can connect devices in almost any topology, topology being the arrangement of how devices are connected on a network. For example, you could connect all of the devices in a daisy chain line, in a ring, a star, or any combination of all of them. Controllers or sensors can also be placed anywhere along the network, and multiple controllers can be placed on a single network and control the same light fittings. Pretty cool. The DALI bus is powered itself, and so can provide power to the sensors and wall plates without them needing their own power feed. DALI is very scalable from small domestic installs up to giant projects with hundreds of DALI networks. For small installs though, DALI doesn't necessarily even need programming. For example, one could take a DALI luminaire, wire it up to a control plate, and the dimming level presets or dimming of up and down functions should just work. Unlike 0 to 10 or 1 to 10, DALI has a standard logarithmic dimming curve which should help maintain dimming responses across different manufacturers. The lowest level that DALI drivers officially dim to is 0.1% of absolute power, but not all DALI drivers can go that low. DALI is limited to 64 devices on a network, and these include luminaires, controllers and sensors. But for very large projects, overall control systems can operate multiple DALI networks simultaneously. Compared to other control systems, some DALI controllers and drivers can be a little slow to respond, so DALI might not be the best choice for quick reacting dynamic installations. But that slow data rate is one of the main reasons DALI is so robust and can be wired in any topology with little or no concern for interference. DALI controllers and drivers tend to be more expensive than more simple control systems like phase dimming on 0 to 10. And to set up scenes or groups or special configurations, DALI networks require specialist knowledge and equipment to commission them, which does cost money. Then say after a few months, you want to change a DALI scene, you'll need to have it programmed again by a specialist, which again costs money. In conclusion then, DALI is an easy to wire, super robust and scalable control system. Simple networks might even be plug and play, but when you get into larger DALI networks with multiple scenes and sensors, they will need to be commissioned by a specialist engineer. However, the level of control is far more versatile than any of the analog systems. Thank you so, so much for watching. Be sure to like, share and subscribe. Leave a comment down below or drop me an email and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.